Now word of an especially cruel scam targeting people when they're the most vulnerable, terrified that a loved one is in danger. Now paramedics and a father from Weed Ridge are coming together to get the word out so no one is tricked by the scam calls. Dominic Garcia live tonight at Denver Hell. Dom, the scammers pretend to be paramedics. And Jim, apparently they're pushy as they try and get that personal information. We spoke to one man who got this call. He didn't fall for it, but he wants to warn others. You just go, oh my word. It's, it's sad. Mike McCarty got the call yesterday. On the other end, a man with a thick accent who said he was a paramedic with Denver Health. He said, Mr. Mike, um, do you have any daughters. They were witnessed a incident yesterday and we need to contact them to get more information. He has two daughters but knew neither of them witnessed an accident. Something was up. I don't know who you are and I don't know who you think I am, but I'm not giving you any information about anybody with my family. After the man hung up, he called back, but he got this. The number you dialed is not a working number. The next call was to Denver Health. Said you're not the first. We have heard of this recently before. Enough for Denver Health to hold a press conference to warn people about the scam. It's not at all something that we do. We never ask for somebody's personal information at any time, regardless of what kind of incident we respond to. They and Mike want to get the word out. He didn't get scammed, but worries the next person will. It's sad you know, that this is the way it is, but all they got to do is hit one. And uh, kaboom. So if you get one of these calls, people here at Denver Health say just hang up and then call authorities. In Denver, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado first.